quarter of the 1920s in England, though the Great War remained somber in memory, new growth was apparent. The greatest of opening pairs, Hobbes and Sutcliffe, impressed themselves into British subconsciousness. On so many occasions, they stood together against all that Australia could hurl at them. Hayward was Hobbes's first great partner, who was the first to emulate WG's century of centuries. But the comrade in arms who, with Hobbes, raised opening batting to the height of confidence and efficiency was Herbert Sutcliffe, the polished Yorkshireman, who played the game on his terms, if with an occasional stiffness. He was never intimidated, never lacking in courtesy, never flustered, not even when the ball hit his wicket in a test match. Hobbs and Sutcliffe, what a magnificent pair. Millions who never entered a cricket ground recognized them as symbols, not only of English cricket, but of something English cricket had often lacked until then, a rock-like reliability. Oh, well played, single for Sutcliffe. Yes, he's gone all the way. A boundary off O'Reilly gives Sutcliffe his 50. What a great 